How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And earlier, uh, about three days ago, I went into my garage looking for something, and I came across my old tub of early 2000s to 90s toys. And I thought to myself, how cool would it be to bring these in and show you guys something that isn't even being manufactured anymore? So without further ado, let's go ahead and reach into my little goodie bag and pull out a toy. And here is the first toy that I pulled out. Now this, I don't know if you guys recognize this or not, this is an old McDonald's toy for the TV show Jackie Chan Adventures that aired on Cartoon Network way back in the day. And the object of this toy was for it to answer your fortune, so it has yes, possibly, ask again, no, and very unlikely. So this is what the front of the toy looks like. This is supposed to be uh, Jackie Chan. And then uh, you're supposed to flick his leg and uh, kind of ask a question. So let's see. Will my YouTube channel be successful? Yes. Yes, it will be. Though, honestly, my YouTube channel is already successful because of all the uh, love and support you guys give me. So, thank you for that. And this is the first toy. Pull something else out of here. Uh, I'm going to give a little disclaimer. I didn't clean any of these toys, and some of them might be damaged. But this is an old uh, car. I'm not sure if this was mine or it was handed down to me from... Uh, one of my parents but um, right here it says NASA United States USA 1096 the wheels down here are uh, a little wobbly they're one of those cheaper cars it looks like it's just kind of uh, stuck in there and then uh, the rods kind of move through these little um, plastic little chambers right here so it's not very smooth. It's a very, uh, very cheap feeling car. I'm not sure um, what brand this is, but you can see if it's from being in a tub many years and from use, it's a little bit scratched up right there. The actual base of the car, though, is um, metal or aluminum. And if you look back here, it looks like the windshield in the back was busted out. Let's go ahead and see if it can move still. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I can move pretty well. The uh, sticker is starting to come off though. If I knew how to repair old toys, I might give that a go, but I'm not really sure how to remove the yellowing and fix the sticker without completely ruining the decal. So yeah, this has been the NASA United States uh, vehicle. Oh man, here we go. Now this right here is a Rockshi, I believe. Or it might be the second version of the Rockshi. This is a Bionicle, and these were really popular in the early 2000s. And uh, man, oh man, I have so many Bionicle pieces, I can't even count. Half the tub was just filled with these things. And these are by Lego. I'm pretty sure you've heard of these. These are exceptionally popular. Um, this is one of the first um, lines that actually came out. This was, um, I think first it was the Toa, and then it was the Rockshi. And I think this is the second version of the Rockshi, actually. I still have the rubber band on there. And uh, let me move this down a little bit. As you can see, there's these little gears. You actually put these two pieces together, kind of sandwiched with all these pieces holding it. When you pull the lever, he moves his head forward like that. That was kind of its striking attack pose. And then right in here, let's pop that open. And it looks like it's missing its mask, but it would hold like a special mask that you could place in there. And then you could kind of swap them out and kind of pretend maybe they gave it uh, extra powers or something. All of these had different shields too, like this. So you can always like pose them and make them look like they were like 
you know, an attack mode or something, like try to get them like boom or something like that. And uh, these were the bad guys, I believe. The Rakshi were the, uh, like, some of the enemies and whatnot. I can't quite remember, but I do know that I think I battled some of them in the Bionicle video game for the PlayStation 2. But yeah, this is uh, a very uh, interesting piece of LEGO history. So, what do you guys think? Alright. And the next toy I have in here is really old. This is from Disney's Mulan. And I remember playing with this on the sidewalk down in uh, some different place in uh, California. I can't quite remember. It's one of those memories that are so fuzzy that you can't really, like, put a place on it. But I think I was around... Seven? Seven years old? Eight years old? Around that time. And I remember just trying to... Let's see, what's it say? Uh, McDonald's. It's a McDonald's toy. I remember um, just trying to get to get this thing to go as fast as it could because um, you roll this on the side of something, and the faster you do it, um, the uh, faster this guy spins. But I don't know if he spins anymore. Let me go ahead and try it out. Yeah, I don't think this guy spins anymore. If you notice down here when I rotate it, the uh, thing is a little bit bent. So I think that that's going to cause it to wobble too much. But let's zoom in on his face real quick. I'm not quite sure what character this is from the show, or the movie, I mean. But uh, I was a really big fan of Mulan uh, growing up. I actually watched that Disney movie probably like once a day while I was like uh, a kid with my grandma. I just, it was my favorite thing to just throw on. It was kind of my version of uh, Frozen, I guess, for kids these days. But yeah, there's that one. And this one right here, you guys probably know who this guy is. This is a toy from the TV show Kim Possible, which I actually never watched. This is a McDonald's toy, I believe, and it was actually just something that I kind of picked up as a kid, and uh, I never watched the show. I was more of a Cartoon Network kid, and uh, I never really went to the Disney Channel, I'm going to be honest, um, or Nickelodeon very much. So I ended up watching Avatar and uh, The Fairly Odd Parents uh, fairly later in life, and uh, mostly the Avatar. But yeah, so this is the... Kim Possible toy. It has a rotating propeller right here, and then on the back it also has a uh, little spinning one. But when you pull this down, it makes the uh, top propeller actually spin. So that is definitely something that uh, kids would be super fascinated with. I can imagine running up and down stairs and just kind of dropping it trying to see if it would actually fly. All right, and now we have this next toy right here. Now, this is from uh, Toy Story, but um, I don't think it's from the first Toy Story. I actually don't know the name of this character. I know that he is a horse, and it is from Toy Story, but I actually don't know much about it. It was part of a puzzle piece that you clip the characters together and try to get all of them in the uh, Happy Meal line. So, uh, interesting little kind of figurine Disney toy. And right here, we have Abu. And now this is a toy from Disney's Aladdin. And this is kind of funny. Um, how many Disney toys and uh, old kind of uh, McDonald's toys that I have kind of laying around. Maybe I thought uh, they would be worth money later in the future or something like that. But when you wind Abu's arms back, like this, he actually moves his arms, and I think he's supposed to be able to walk. <laughs> okay, maybe he's not supposed to be able to walk. Wait. No, I, I don't. I'm not quite sure what he's supposed to do, but uh, he's definitely not uh, walking. But yeah. Kind of a weird little uh, 
90s toy where uh, it doesn't quite have purpose, but uh, the moving parts were enough to fascinate a child, so what do you guys think? If you were a kid growing up in the early 2000s, the 90s, chances are you still have one of these guys laying around. These are mighty beans. They were a very simplistic idea. It is just a cylinder with a metal ball in the uh, in the inside of here, and basically mighty beans were these collectible beans. Um, they even actually have their own uh, kind of number and name. It's a uh, number 63 nerd bean. And uh, pretty much the goal of these was to just like have them roll up and down on your hand because the uh, inertia or the um, weight of the ball oh, inside of there is uh, supposed to make it move kind of like they're alive. And it kind of feels nice in the hand, um, but they didn't, they weren't very practical. They're more of like, you know, you get a track and then maybe they work a little bit better, but they weren't, um, the funnest thing. They were just kind of something cool to collect. Now this is, uh, another one of the beans. It's a, uh, builder bean. Kind of cool. And then right here, I believe this one actually came with some kind of silicone molding around it, but I don't have it anymore. It's a bad breath bean. Kind of gross. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie with the uh, blue tongue. Blech. Let's move these guys to the side. And now this one's a two-parter. So right here we have uh, Esmeralda. Now this is a very old Disney toy from the hunch the Hunchback of uh, Notre Dame, and. Uh, it's her playing the, I believe that's a tambourine. And as you can see, it's even branded right down here. Um, if I can get it to focus. Yeah, Disney right there. Made in uh, China. If you zoom in right there, you can see the beautiful details in the eyes. That's uh, a little bit of sarcasm. <laughs> but uh, it's an old toy, so a lot of them didn't have uh, great facial uh, paintings back then. Let's put that one down. And next we have this guy right here. I have no idea who this guy is, I'm going to be completely honest. I know he was really important in the movie, but I don't know his name. But I do know he's part of the same set right here. And uh, you can kind of put them together, and maybe if you had like the Quasimodo and everything, you could have your own little uh, kind of retro uh, Disney figure set up. You know, you have the movie and then you have like all the collectible figures, that'd be kind of cool, huh? But yeah, there's those guys. Then we have another two-parter right here. Now, I don't remember anything about this show. I'm going to be completely honest, but I loved it to death. This is from Tailspin. It is a uh, Disney TV show. And uh, what's this? Oh, there's a little button back here. Oh, you can use it to rotate his head. That's kind of cool. But uh, I believe it had to do with like airplanes and stuff. Um, that's why it's called Tailspin. But uh, I can't remember the name of this guy. If you guys can remember what this guy's name is, let me know in the uh, comments below. Kind of tickles my brain not being able to know what this guy's name is. But he still stands up pretty well. And the little thing on the back, his head still uh, <laughs> kind of uh, moves all the way around. But yeah, kind of interesting little thing. You kind of make it look like he's talking. Hello, welcome to another JHR review. So yeah, kind of a interesting blast from the past. Let's put that guy down. And this is actually from the uh, same show. This is the uh, little kid uh, girl that was in it. I do remember the theme song. It was like, O-E-O, -E -O, Tailspin, or something like that. I couldn't, I can't quite you know, remember all the lyrics, but I know something like that. It was a very classic, uh, little, um, theme song. But this is all made out of metal, actually. I think it's like, yeah, it's all made out of, like, a, a thick metal. You can actually see the metal and the paint right there. It's kind of wearing off. But the, uh, propeller actually spins, which is kind of cool. But yeah. What do you guys think? Kind of a cool little blast from the past. Move these guys to the side. And 
right here. This is from an anime. This is from Card Captors, or Card Captors Sakura, which they kind of butchered in the uh, English adaption, honestly. But uh, this is a cool little figure of um, one of the main characters. I'm not 100% sure what his name was, but I know he was the other kid. There was the main girl character, and then there was uh, him. So, very interesting little... Uh, kind of a McDonald's toy. And then right here, this is the end of the bag, we have another anime toy. Now this is Bijou. This is from, and she's real beat up because you can see from her age. She is from a anime called Hamtaro, which is a basically a, a TV show, an anime imported from Japan, put on Cartoon Network about hamsters and their daily adventures. Um, they had their own like little club. It was kind of like a slice of life kids uh, kind of anime and it was really good. And I watched so many episodes when I was a kid and I'm glad that uh, I have this. I actually found it on the side of the road when I was a kid and kept it all these years, probably at least 15 years now, but yeah. Here we go. How about my uh, hamster right here? Ghosty meets the fake hamster right here, Bijou from the TV show. Kind of wandering around, kind of confused, like, what's going on, man? He's a uh, albino hamster. Very cute. Let's say hi to the camera real quick. Hello. It took forever for me to be able to uh, pick him up like this. It's kind of a uh, trust exercise, I guess. Once they know that uh, being in your hand, they're not going to get hurt. But yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.